So hi there and everything show. We are reacting to Misty Cat's newest video. different things we need to make but I think the first thing we need to do is just get tools because it's just gonna say oh he's making a giant command if you're block. new here I'm known as a command block youtuber so what better way to start a minecraft hardcore series than by building a giant command block starter base full of redstone farms oh and we already found a beehive which is huge because we're gonna need so many honey blocks oh this oh, video was uploaded you know, three hours ago so I'm a little bit late to watching it sorry misty cat the first episode which no it will be fine oh poor people oh, probably be Four hours, say four well, I mean, hours ago I'm after I'm done watching this. Also, like, really cool, so because the only reason I'm making a video on this is because I saw a new, new uh, a video of mine was uploading. So when I, I'm, so I checked on it, and I got bored of it uploading, so I just decided, decided to watch a Misty Cat video, but instead I just did on TV. to today's episode of a very true statement. I totally didn't accidentally craft too many diamond things and not leave enough for the enchanting table and have to go back to get more? That's, no, no, that's something that did not happen. And this has been today's episode of a very true statement. But I think that's good enough for the tools. So I'm pretty sure the honey blocks are going to take the longest to get. So we're going to start with a bee farm. I was starting to make the Nobody outline for the bee farm. And then I realized I need comparators to go under here. And Unless so um, we got to go to the nether. Oh boy. But first, it's almost big Christmas season. And I got to buy big Christmas presents for myself. So, G Portal is a very versatile, affordable server hosting it's, website that uses adjustable game clouds instead of basic it's, servers. Like it's about server. to be and November, so when bro. When you buy a G Portal game cloud, you purchase whichever amount of RAM you want and can divide it into any number of servers. So, for example, if I buy 18 gigs of RAM for a Minecraft game cloud, I could have one big 18 gig server. I could have two 9 gig servers, or I could even have 18 1 gig servers. Ooh. Or you know what? I could just upgrade it to one. One one gig server, just one little tiny server. That's perfect. Keep chugging, little guy. But what if you play more than Minecraft? Well, that's awesome because yeah. G Portal has custom tailored server panels for every game they offer, making it super easy to set up as many servers as you want for as many games as you want. G Portal's pricing stays competitive with the they rest of the market, Minecraft and anyone office. can find the game cloud they're looking for without spending all their emerald. Are you interested? Well, you can check them out at https colon slash slash g hyphen portal dot com slash misty to get 10% off your first game cloud purchase. Thank you to my friends at G Portal for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to whatever I was doing before. I don't remember, it's like 6 a.m. Although there's also <laughs> an outpost right here, so maybe I'll go do this it's, real quick. Oh, it's not 6 a.m. This video was made three before. hours ago. And it's like 1 p.m. right now. That was funny. Maybe two. I don't know. And we spawned I don't right above the fortress. Okay. I'm in full that. screen mode YouTube right now. And get out of this place. Okay. And with that, our beautiful bee farm should be fully complete. I think. I've never built one of these in survival, but I'm, I mean, this should work. We'll see, I guess. Bee baby! I'm gonna name them Herbert and, and Sherbert and Big Thomas. I like Big Thomas. But that should be everything we need for the exterior of the giant command block. So now I guess we have to get everything else. But to get all the blocks we need, we're going to have to do a lot of traveling. So here I've loaded the world into a sea viewer. You can see this is where we spawn. Uh, this is where we're going to build the base right here. Up here is the swamp biome we need. Over here is the bamboo jungle. 
over here's the savannah, and then over here's the badlands. So we have to travel in a straight line, luckily. 5,000 blocks? It's not called the Badlands, oh, it's called a Mesa. Well, this is some interesting terrain. Ooh, mangroves. Well, this is pretty cool. Look at all this mud up Oh, there. I think it is called really the cool. Badlands in Java, it's just called a Mesa and Bedrock. Not the Badlands. Why is it called the Badlands? Mojang, why is it called the Badlands? That's kind of weird. Oops. I'm trying to let you see full screen, so that's why I'm not really moving my mouse at all. I mean, I'll move it when the video is over, though. Why isn't you talking? Excuse me, I burped. Bookshelves. Oh, I stupid. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, and time. There's time. There's time. So here is our 
massive giant command block that's going to be our new face. What the heck? You guys are going to have to watch this part without me. Because the way the textures are are so weird. Look at how it's even. It's normal Minecraft are not even. Isn't that, isn't that awful? The how I did it was I made this like thick outline all the way around so each face could have its individual texture properly. But I think this turned out pretty well on the outside. It's just now we need to fill the entire inside with redstone farms and probably starting with a door over here. Oh boy, would you look at that? We have a giant command block house. <gasps> how do we get inside? Oh no! It's really simple. All you gotta do is say the magic word. Yay! Then we can close it. Oh, this is so fun. Look at this. I love pistons. Pistons are so cool. But now that we can officially lock ourselves in, we need to fill this entire thing with as many different redstone farms as possible. And the first thing I want to do is... Where's the exit? Which... Right here. This is always the exit. The first thing I want to do is um, make a giant like sugarcane or bamboo farm underground in the floor and then have it just constantly going and we can just look down and see it at any point. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I went to get sand and now there's a raid happening. Um, I've never done one of these before. I forgot I had the effect. Oh boy, what do I do? I just wanted some sand. Oh, I'm stupid. Jeez, like I did so much damage. Oh my gosh, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh, you dropped an axe, though. That's nice. Um, if I just run away, is that bad? Can I just leave them? I mean, the villagers are hiding there. If I just, like... Guys, I'm back. I got it. Maybe the raid will go away? Maybe? I don't know how this works. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even need that much sand. It's probably fine. So this is the entrance right here, this is where the door is. You're gonna walk in and you can look down and see either sugarcane or bamboo or whatever we want to make. And then over here, we're gonna have a flying machine that whenever I click this, it will kind of- I'm commenting that, so that's why you stopped, up, all of you stopped up letting and videos for two months. months. And then I need some sort of system okay. below under this with like a minecart that picks up everything that falls down and it has a water elevator that goes up up top. So now I just gotta build that. <laughs> well, actually figuring out the plan, I need to know where okay. it's going to be. So we should probably build like a storage thing first and then have it go there. Because where, where does it go? Like over here? Hmm. Okay. So. Can you have glass on the roof? Kind of looks a little bit weird. So I, I think decided you that maybe this right it. side is going to be a big thing of chest. This side's gonna be like a sheep farm we can put in here and have a bunch of wool. And then this side we can have like a super okay. smelter set up with some chests over here. Super smelter. This collection thing will come up to a chest. Don't you mean smoker here. or something so or glass furnace? Farm chests for farms and then maybe we'll have some more farms on top of these and they'll feed down into these chests as well. So now I gotta build it and this is gonna be a lot of wood. So here is everything I built so far. We have this giant storage system which is actually our way to get up and kind of swim up here. There's a zombie somewhere. <laughs> um, we're gonna put our nether portal right here. Um, maybe like a cow farm right here. You can come across to our enchanting table and then over here i have no idea what i'm gonna put here so if you guys have any ideas for something that can fit here let me know because i don't i don't know what i don't know what to do here and then up top i want to have a bunch of farms just sitting in like little sections up here and then maybe like a big map right here cool area like right in the center so whenever you walk in the base first thing you see big map 
I guess the first thing you'll see is like a sheep farm right here. And up there is a- ah! Oh! Oh, I didn't close my door! Oh! Oh! Here's the design of the like every this cat when he says that. Side, and then this will be the test output for the farm down right here. Over here will be the super smelter, so this will probably be fuel. Uh, like food or whatever, and then cooked food comes out here. And up here is all our different benches. And then I wasn't sure what to do with this wall. So what if I put some fishies in there? <gasps> Aquarium! Ooh! And mentally unstable. Here's the progress right now. I now have a fully finished sheep farm. You see there's some sheep in there, and whenever they eat the grass, it shears them. And then a minecart puts them in here. It probably yeah, puts them in there like that. And then if we swim up here, we have one of the cow farms done. Uh, I did have two cows in here, but I accidentally placed the water on the wrong spot, and they all drowned to death. Up here is the cactus farm, which is working. I don't remember if I talked about that yet. And then over here, oops. Up here is going to be a little farm where we can get all of our wheat that we can use to breed the cows, and then we can eat meat. And um, here, here's, here's, uh, there's no evidence. There's nothing happened there. Hello. Looks like I got rid of the evidence just in time. And all of that was to finish this. So now we have all of our stuff. Imagine if he does. Really that collects it all, puts like, it on the elevator, and then comes up here. I'll probably put a daylight sensor so once a day this will activate and sweep through. It'll break all the sensors. Okay, but I actually want that to finish will pick it up and it'll all appear in this chest. Seems like I dropped some dirt down there. And here's the ah! Ah! Uh, oh, they're not on. Draw pork in here, put coal in here, <sighs> and pork comes out here. And I will put little Sorry if you there. couldn't hear me, guys. I started Sorry. the aquarium. I can't oh, kind of had a bad I didn't take this camera angle through. I started the aquarium and I got a slamming. So I'm gonna name him Slam it! Big, large, big, large, look at him. And breaking news, guys, breaking news. I just talked to Big Large. He really wants a map wall to look at so he doesn't so he doesn't get bored and lonely down there all alone. Look up over here. Where'd he go? Wait, actually, where'd he go? Oh, there, okay, there he is. Okay. Here's our first empty map, so let's open it up. And this looks really cool. It's a giant command block. It looks like a command block. Okay, so if I did this right, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, um, this one. Okay, oh, I got that one back backwards. <laughs> I got the wrong number. This one. No, 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 no. Where does this go? Where did do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Do you want to earn more views, more subscribers, more watch time, and of course, make more money? Well, it might be time for you to upgrade to TubeBuddy Pro. Sadly, while a lot of people start YouTube channels, okay. many. You should go around here, but it all lines up. You can't go there. That one, no, that's wrong. These don't line up there. Oh, that one I didn't finish. Yes. The bee swap? Bee swap, I think. Where does this road go to? It was rotated. There we go. Okay, that that was so easy. That was the first try. I didn't even, I didn't even think. And we got our little tiny command block and the little stairs up front. <laughs> I like this. This looks good. Look at that. I like it. That looks good. I like that there. But now I think we're pretty much done with the house. I mean, there's this area up here that doesn't have anything, and I can make a platform there. You know, let me do that. Let's just get a bunch of those. Yeah. And come over here. Yes. This might look good. So because of the trap door, oh, hey, someone more. Because of the trap doors, it's like offset from the stairs, so it should give a little height variation. I'll get some more and expand that out that way. But it's like a little balcony you could go to over there. We could put something over there. We could expand it over here. Put something here. We could put some farms here. I know a bunch of really small farms that could go here just to fill it up, but. I wouldn't ever need them. Like, why would I need specifically, like, a rose bush farm? That's just, like, a one by, like, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I don't need that. So, that, I'll, you guys 
guys can tell me what to do too. Whatever farms you guys think I should put here, I will fill the rest of this with next time. Uh, but for now, I think this is pretty good. We built the whole command block. We've got all the essential farms in here. Room for expansion. I'll get some more things there. I gotta put something here. You know what? We need some signs right here. You've gotta be kidding me. I have cherry and mangrove, but not acacia. I only have one acacia plank. Look at this! How do I have one? Do I not have saplings? That's gonna be a 5,000 block trip. Please tell me I have saplings. Oh, I need to get this video off for the sponsor. Where's the saplings? Oh, oh, oh right here. I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're good. Wait, we're what? Fine. Okay, we got our saplings. So, obviously, we need live. Then we're gonna have a sign. Laugh. Miwo. Live, laugh, Miwo. This is my new motto. And know what? Let's make a top commenter wall. And every hardcore video, if you get the <gasps> if you get the top com <gasps> the top comment on the video, I'll put your name right there. <laughs> I'm so creative and intelligent and likable. But let me you guys know what you think of a hardcore series of the doing more of these. Obviously, if no one likes the videos, I, I won't do any more, but I just like to do some more, because I like hard boys, it's fun. I like to just play Minecraft. I've I played Minecraft for like 15, maybe 16 years. I remember when uh, InfDev came out, but I've never actually just had like a world I played. Like this is the most I've ever done in a single player world ever. But it was like my time. It's just a time played 1.5 days. I have over 24 hours in this world. That's insane. It definitely takes a lot longer to make normal videos. Look at how big this is. <laughs> this is really cool house. This might be one of my favorite bases I've ever done. I remember it's the so world crazy. I played on the most on my iPad. I think it was called Landon's world. world. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is almost so bad. How can we forget Miguel? I love him. Look at Miguel. Oh, look at Miguel. Okay, so the video has ended. I'll try to comment. So that is why. You have not been uploading for two months. So here's what I'm talking about. Because look, if I say three hours ago, then this is the second most recent video two months ago. That's why I said that. So.